So I've been skiing for about a year now and it feels great to be learning something new. And something I've been learning really recently is tree skiing. I've been in the trees about three or four times now. And today I'm gonna continue to progress. And I'm also gonna share some lessons that I've picked up and continue to pick up along the way. I'm just getting warmed up on some small bumps right now. We got about 10 centimeters of fresh snow yesterday. We've been getting the freeze-thaw, freeze-thaw cycle, but yeah, this might be one of the last good snow days of the year and I want to take advantage of that. Warming up, super important. So one thing I've definitely carried with me for the entire time I've been skiing is it's really important to warm up. Uh, I'm not young and definitely my legs have a lot of tension in them so it's important to kind of bang the rust off every time I get out uh, and that's what I like to do on my first, second and even third run. So I'm not exactly advertising where I am because their rules on tree skiing aren't exactly clear. They don't tell you you can't do it, but they're definitely not patrolled areas. Now, before I get into the trees, there's a really cool hydro line run just off to the side of this trail here. And this is a really good place to get warmed up to work on those committing lines. So I've slowed down here just to regain my composure because this level of skiing is just at my skill limit. And after this pull here, it gets a little bit steeper. And then after the next pull, it gets even steeper than that. So I'm just gonna try and get as many turns in here as I possibly can. Oh! got to shoot at the bottom of this section here and you pick up a lot of speed so I'm gonna try and control my speed through here turn side slip stay high turn and turn you That was definitely on the edge of control. Really fun though. So another thing I've learned with any form of technical skiing, and this even includes steep groomers, is the more turns, the better. On that last run there, I would have liked to get more turns in and maybe not side slipped that chute as I did, but side slipping that chute did keep me in control. And the main thing is that I have fun and I don't hurt myself, which I didn't do. So I definitely had fun and yeah, I'm having a good time. So I'm back on the bump run and just off to the left here is the entrance to some tree skiing. I'm going to take my time getting started today because I definitely don't want to hit any trees and I don't want to damage my skis either and it's really easy to ding your nice skis off a tree and that sucks. Probably not a good idea to do this by yourself but I've just messaged somebody to let them know exactly where I am and I'll be checking in with that same person every 45 minutes. Sometimes you can go a direction because it seems safer. You're traversing across the hill, but then you'll get to a point where you just have to drop down something steep. And that's when you have to commit. Whew. That was sick. Something cool about exploring on skis, not just skiing the gnarliest line you can, 
So it's been about five minutes and I've only gone from up there to down here. So I'm definitely following my own rule of taking my time. So now I'm heading back toward the groomer. Ew, that was cool. Sometimes you just have to commit. And here we are, back at the bumps. So another lesson that I've picked up learning how to tree ski is that it's really important for me to take my time. I like to go fast on my skis and I like to learn things quickly, but the trees are not the place to do that. In order to progress, it's really important that I don't get injured, so taking my time is really important. Back into the trees. So we got some kids in the trees over here. Well, that's good for me and it's also good for them because if somebody hurts themselves, I can help them and if I hurt myself, they can help me. You all right? Yes. So here's another tip I picked up on and that's to know your ability, but also be able to spot your line and more importantly, spot a run out for your line. So it's unrealistic for me on my fourth or fifth day of skiing to say I can ski the whole mountain from top to bottom uh, in like a dense forest. But if I can ski this line here, where am I going? Okay, I could go straight down and end up on that ridge because there's a grade reversal and I should be able to stop, but there's a cliff on the other side of that if I can't stop. If I go to the right here, there's a turn involved and I have to go through some trees, but there's more room to slow down and there's no cliff, so it's probably the safer line. However, here's a line right here that is well within my skill level and I'm gonna ski that. So, here I go. I'm committing, I see a line straight through the middle here. And at some point, when I lose my line, or before I lose my line, I'll stop. I'm just checking my speed to make sure it doesn't get out of my control. And I'm gonna continue on trying to not kill any trees or myself. So one thing I've learned from mountain biking is that it's really important to commit to what you're riding. Now in tree skiing it's not exactly the same because there's not necessarily a chosen path, but what is important to committing is picking a line, making a plan, and then sticking to that plan. So run outs, the line you're skiing, where you're going, how fast you're going to go, and then stick to that. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but this is going fairly well today. I've had no major injuries, I haven't hit any big trees uh, but it's also important to know when to quit so I would never say that this is my last run but I think this is my second last run so dropping in I'm gonna work on committing and taking my time staying loose picking my line That was cool, a little double drop line there. That was fun, I'm stoked on that. Got a cool line through here, nice and wide. Got it. it's on a traverse. So I got a traverse with a steep drop to my right, but my skis are grabbing nice through these trees here. And there's my alarm to let everybody know that I'm still alive. Still alive. Okay, so in order for me to stay alive, I've got to get down to that groomer, which is right there. And uh, it's kind of steep through here. So again, pick my line and get out of the trees safe and sound. Woo! Nice. Made it. Back into the trees. Here we go. It's 
speed check. Sweet. Ew. All right. So I hit that tree there. My left leg went around the tree and it pitched me into the powder. But I'm a-okay. I was just having too much fun there. Final tip, don't have too much fun. All right, just getting right back into it. Pretend like that didn't happen. And I'm out of the woods. Yeehaw. So I know I said that was my second last run, but that was way too good a reminder of my last lesson, which was to know when to quit. And I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Had an awesome day in the trees. Definitely learned a bunch and I feel like I got better. Always a reminder to myself to warm up, take my time, commit to my line. And then, like I said, know when to quit, but never say last run. And until next time, ski. Good trails.